Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to do another how-to video. I haven't done one of these in a while. And today I'm going to make this pen shell, it's the casing of a pen, into a missile for like 112 scale. So uh, I had in mind to use the Hulk or the thing and them kind of like grasping it right here, stopping a missile, or you could just use it for like other miniatures and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to use this pen casing and... Hopefully it comes out pretty good. So here we go. All right, first up, I want to make the fin looking things like the dorsal fins on a dolphin or a shark, you know, here on the sides just to give it more character and stuff like that. And I'm going to use this old Telcel Mexican uh, phone number SIM card holder thing. I'm just going to cut it up and glue them on the sides here. So I cut a piece off and it's this long. I'm just eyeballing it. You don't have to be exact uh, if you really want to you can use a ruler and just mark it and have it 100% symmetrical but yeah I don't do that and then <laughs> I'm just gonna cut it right here and get uh, two more so there's four on this end and we'll have our fins so next up when you have all your pieces you're gonna want to add glue on the bottom part of each one and just put each fin on so one here, one here, one here, just dab the glue on here and try to get it as smooth as possible. Uh, I'm not really doing the best job of doing that, but I just want to show you guys that when you're taking your time actually doing it, you can get it nice and smooth so you won't have like bumps like on this side right here. So yeah, glue it up and paste on each side. So once you have them all glued on with your hot glue, it'll look like this. And as you can see that they're not all the same size. I mean, I'm not bugging over that, but if you want to be super precise, use your ruler and measure out how big you want them. So they all come out even looking. So yeah, there's the fins. Uh, I was thinking about adding a few more right here maybe, but so I added uh, two more right here. I mean, it's not based off any official missile design or warhead or anything. I just thought just to add a little bit more to it. As you can see, it's not the same size, but whatever. It just gives it more character. So, next we're going to take this cheap paint that I got from Michaels. It's Craft Smart Acrylic Paint. And I'm just going to dab it down and do a nice um, base coat on the entire of the body of the missile. Alright, black paint. And just go all the way up and down. You don't have to make it look pretty. Just get it a nice coat for the first one. And if you really want to, to get every spot, just keep going over with different coats. So I'm just going to do this and we'll skip forward. So that's the first coat right here. It's not so pretty right now, We're gonna, but we're going to get it looking nice. So next up, I'm going to use some of this green here and do like a camo looking paint job. And I'm not the best painter in the world. I really suck at it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm going to do my best to do camo looking. So I'm just gonna splot this on like different spots and just keep like a design going and then we're just gonna add brown and other stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna spot it on here and there and hopefully get a nice camel looking design. So I'll show you when I'm done doing the first part. So here is the first um, green that I did and I'm gonna do brown and I'm just gonna lighten them up a little bit to uh, have a different contrast of colors in them. So I'm just gonna get this brown and just dab it in between like where the green is. You know, you don't have to be, you know, spot on. You can just do any old design. So yeah, I'm just dabbing here. Different touches of brown here and there everywhere. Or you can just plot it on like that. You don't have to do any special technique. So yeah, I'll show you when this is done. So here it is with the brown paint splotted on. As you can see, it looks kind of like a foresty camo looking paint job. So I'm going to add lighter uh, shades of these colors just to do more contrast to it. And we should be done pretty soon. Alright, for this one I'm mixing the green with the white. And I'll make a lighter shade of the green. And then I'm doing the same thing with the brown mixed with a bit of white for a lighter shade of the brown. And I'll just dab this on like I did the other ones. Not anything too specific. I'm just dabbing on. So you can see a contrast of colors now. See that? 
the lighter greens on there. So I'm just gonna splot it on here and there, wherever I think um, I could use different, you know, contrasting colors. So here's with the lighter green mixed in. I'm gonna add the lighter brown and dab it in different parts. Looks pretty foresty, like army camo. So yeah, it looks pretty good, I think so. So I'm just being super generous with this one. I don't want that much uh, lighter browns, but wherever I missed like black paint, I'm just gonna cover that up with a little bit of this lighter brownish color. So just different areas to just uh, give it different tones to it. And for a little bit of extra, I got this cheap finger paint right here and it's yellow and I'm gonna just do a top coat like super gentle so it looks like this used to be yellow like the fins and like I guess some criminal organization took it over and they repainted it into this camo looking missile so yeah, I'm just gonna paint this like that so it looks like the original paint like coming through barely and just dab this one up as well these fins just to give it a little bit more like character towards it so here's a quick scene of the thing Ben Grimm saving a civilian from getting hit from the rocket over here. As you can see, I have a little smoke coming out from it. I have a standing on top of this uh, Figma stand with cheese wax. So here it is just by itself so you can have a good look at it. Different greens, browns, some yellowing, some little bit of red down here. Um, you can kind of tell right there. So I, I was hoping that for it to be like a stolen rocket that someone just repainted themselves. This back here is pillow uh, filling or the stuff that's inside pillows, I guess. I found some of it inside my closet, so it looks like it's smoking, like being launched at. And here's the missile being balanced on Hulk and the stand, <laughs> barely balancing on there. And yeah, uh, came out pretty nice, I think. Looks pretty cool. For something so cheap and easily done, I think everyone should give it a shot. Why not, you know? So yeah, here's my quick how-to on how to make a missile with a pen case. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!